LEDs are simply a good choice for home lighting because they use less electricity and last a lot longer. Both these reasons translate to costing you less money to light your home. But there are other pros and a couple cons about LED. Let's go through them all. LED is revolutionising lighting the world over because it's proven to be so much more efficient than the regular old incandescent bulb and even the newer CFL bulbs. The amount of electricity needed to light your home with LED is only about one sixth as compared to an incandescent light bulb and only one half when compared to CFLs. Considering that lighting accounts for roughly 25% of your utility bill, that's a big saving, not just for individuals, but for companies, warehouses, factories, hospitals, schools, even cities. Everywhere you see lighting, LED offers savings. And the important part is this, incandescent lighting, the regular light bulb, is really inefficient, yet still used in eight out of 10 homes across the US. Replacing these with LED is the first and best place to start. Utilities in the US generating electricity will avoid having to build 133 new power plants over the next 13 years due to the expected adoption of LED, as estimated by the US Department of Energy. In part three, we go through the actual dollars and cents you can expect to save when choosing LED over incandescent or CFL. In part five, we go into detail just how it is LED technology is more efficient. LED manufacturers are rating their bulbs to last an average of 50,000 hours. Incandescents last around 1,000 hours and CFLs around 5,000 hours. How long is that? Well, a light bulb turned on in your home for three hours a night would be 1,000 hours for the entire year. Nobody likes looking up and noticing that a light bulb is out in the ceiling. Even if they don't cost so much, it's the hassle of having to go out and buy a new one and get on the ladder to swap it out. In part six, we go through the components and construction of LED, CFLs and incandescent bulbs to explain their relative lifetimes and how longer lifetime means less frequently buying new bulbs and how that saves time and money. Efficiency and longer lifetime are two main reasons LED bulbs outperform CFLs and incandescents. But they're not the only two. There are others that we can list as well. Less electricity means less pollution from power plants. All the power plants generating electricity to light US homes emit 80 million tonnes of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere every year. Switching all those bulbs to LED today would reduce carbon emissions to 12 million tonnes. That's like taking 2.5 million cars off the road. Unlike CFLs, LEDs contain no mercury. Mercury is a toxic heavy metal and poisonous if breathed in by humans. Breaking a CFL in the home is dangerous. LEDs are solid state lighting, thus very durable. Drop on and it'll still work when you screw it back in. Incandescents and CFLs are made of glass and easily broken. LEDs don't get hot. Even after being on all night, they'll still only feel warm to the touch. Incandescents and CFLs by their very nature need to get extremely hot to work and we've all burnt our fingers trying to change one. In fact, some incandescents have been responsible for burning down houses when coming into contact with sealing material. LEDs offer a choice of white light, from extra warm white, to warm white, to neutral, to cool. LEDs, like incandescents, are instant on. CFLs can take a minute or two to warm up. LEDs and incandescents dim a lot better than CFLs. But let's make this a fair picture. Incandescents give off a better quality of light than LEDs and CFLs. CRI, or Color Rendering Index, is explained more in Part 8. Although the difference is very slight and hard to notice with the human eye, the one thing incandescents can never be robbed of is their good quality light. The biggest downside LED has had has been their higher upfront cost. In Part 3 and 4, we go through how that upfront cost is quickly recovered in electricity savings and replacement savings, but the fact is, LEDs cost more than incandescents and even CFLs. But the good news is LEDs have seen their price drop a lot. I hope I've kept it interesting guys and I'll see you on the next one.